power online games rated for age appropriate use. In all the major territories of the world, different ratings boards that we all we have to comply to, and the industry really on any of the big published platforms uh, do, does hold to that. Even with ratings, and this is the same for film and television, not just for games, when you're talking about young children, it's so important that a parent or a responsible adult sits with a child and watches the, the game and makes sure that they, in their own parenting style or their own guardianship style, is happy with what's going on. With an increase in online gaming during the pandemic, what concerns do you have about increased screen time playing games? Listen, it's all about balance. In, in our company, our, our biggest social responsibility partnership is with Scottish Athletics. We absolutely believe that games is a really incredibly positive, healthy part of life, if it's part of life. If games becomes a dozen hours a day or encouraging you never go to bed and, you know, and, and taking two hours sleep a night, it can literally end in death. So like anything in life, if you overdo it with games, it can be dangerous, undoubtedly. So our message and the one we're trying to get to is balance it, get out and do something physical, challenge your brain in a different way. And I would advocate it. It's a really positive experience within a, a balanced life. There are toxic elements in the gaming community uh, and it's been reported upon and we can see it. If you start to feel pressured into anything, if you start to feel that you know, even it's quite minor, but toxic behaviour making you feel uncomfortable in a game, report it. Report it on your side at home, but also report it online. You know, you just have to say, you know what, I'm not going to tolerate it. If I enjoy it, if I've got a space that makes me feel safe, I'm going to make sure that it continues to make me feel safe because it is wonderful when it works.